Hey everyone, welcome back, and if you are new to the channel, hi, I am Michelle, and in today's video, I am going to be doing my fall lifestyle favorites. Now, the reason that I decided to do seasonal favorites is because I don't use enough new stuff um, once a month to do a monthly favorite. The truth is, I am a creature of habit, and so I pretty much have been using the same stuff that I used when I was like 20, so... That's just who I am, I guess, but there are some new cool things that I have been using this season, so I wanted to share that with you today. So beginning with beauty products, the first thing that I found was this Laura Mercier eyeshadow stick. It is the Caviar Stick Eye Color in the color Moonlight. First of all, they're extremely creamy, easy to blend with your finger, and as a mom, that is essential to me because I just want to be able to put it on my eyes, blend it, and go out the door. It takes like 10 seconds to blend it out, and I am not exaggerating, it's just that good. It has like this copper shimmer undertone to it, which is beautiful for my eye color anyway. There is a ton of product in this, as you can see. I don't want to twist it all the way, but this will last me for a few months, I'm sure, and I use it every day. So yeah, I actually have it on right now. You probably can't see it because it is faint on camera but in person it actually has a lot of color payoff so it's quite powerful with the color and it's beautiful so this is definitely one of my favorites and now moving on to lip products I am in love with this elf liquid to matte lipstick in the color tea rose when I went into the store I pretty much wanted something that was not quite brown but just a little bit of a darker nude for fall and something that wouldn't make it look like dirt is on my lips. This is what the sales lady recommended to me and I love it. I love how matte it is and it's not drying so you can't see like the creases on your lips. Sometimes that looks really like chapped and gross. But this is really moisturizing even though it's matte. And the best thing about it, it costs like $4. So it's cheap, cheerful and it works. So my next favorite is a Bath & Body Works, of course, <laughs> product. I am obsessed with Bath & Body Works and they have released a new aromatherapy line like maybe a month ago. I know the beginning of September is probably when I picked this up. And this is a luxury bath soap in the fragrance Lavender and Cedarwood. It actually falls under the sleep line so it's meant to be relaxing and soothing and just something that I pour into my bath maybe once a week. I don't always have time for this, but when I do, it's just part of like a pampering routine that I do, and I love this stuff. The bubbles are full and they smell amazing. They last the entire bath. I find that when I use this, I can just sit off in the tub and relax, clear my mind, and it's really moisturizing as well. Like when I get out of the bath, I don't feel all dry, like my skin feels moisturized. I think it has some natural essential oils as well as some aloe in it. So that is probably why it's super moisturizing. Now while we're on the relaxation train of it all, I wanted to talk about some essential oils that I have loved. I found these at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's the Nature's Truth Aromatherapy Good Night 100% Pure Calming Essential Oil. That was a mouthful. So with a few drops of this, I can just relax and drift off to sleep. And I just smell lavender, a little bit of orange, I think, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not sure, so I don't want to say. Chamomile was in it, frankincense oil, cypress, tangerine, so it wasn't orange, it was tangerine, and bergamot. So it's a wonderful blend, and it lasts for a long time. Like I would put this on before I go to sleep, and if I wake up in the middle of the night, the room still smells like this. I have found that with some essential oils in the past, they aren't very good quality. Like the scent lasts for like two puffs of air and then you don't smell it. So I love this one, this um, Nature's Truth, because I continue to smell it throughout the night. I also think that it helps with purifying the air. So um, that's important when you're sleeping and just helping to just restore your mind and body. I don't know why I randomly want to tell you this, but I haven't had dreams in like a very long time. Like I go to sleep and I don't have dreams. And if I do, I don't remember them. What does that mean? I have no idea. 
that was super random. So I'm gonna move on to some home decor items that I love. And of course, it isn't fall without pumpkins. And I found this Mercury pumpkin from JCPenney. I actually talked about it on my Insta story um, maybe a month or two ago. But anyway, I thought this pumpkin was so cute and beautiful. It's made of mercury and you probably can't see it because it's daytime, but you can turn it on and it lights up and I just keep it on my stove every day and I turn it on at night and I just love it. It gives you that fall vibe without like being orange or just overly pumpkin-y, you know what I mean? It's just to me the perfect touch and it matches my kitchen very well. So yeah, I love this little pumpkin. Alright, so now it's time to talk about the fashion favorites, I guess. And I have picked up a few just very bland and basic fall pieces. But the one thing that I love are these boots that I got at Kohl's. They're from the Lauren Condren collection. Conrad, Lauren Elsie, Lauren Condren, she's from Laguna Beach, that's where I remember her from. Um, but she styles clothing there and shoes and I got these boots which have a heel on them, they're a chunky heel. Now I am a short, I'm like 5'1 and to me flats are the way to go, they're comfortable and I only really wear heels for like special occasions or if I'm going out to eat or something, you know, special, something fancy. Um, but I've been wearing these chunk heels around and they are very, very comfortable. I'm a huge fan of the color. It's that cognac classic tan fall color that pretty much goes with all of my outfits so I can wear it with everything. I love this little tassel detail right here. Usually I'm not into this style. I don't know if you want to call it like country or western or boho, I don't know what it's called. Um, but I love these two little tassels. I think it gives it something extra and it zips down so your foot gets into the shoe really easy. They also, see this part right here, it folds up so it gives you extra ankle support if you need it as well as extra warmth on those cold and windy days. So yeah, I love this boot and I'll probably be wearing it all fall and winter long. So now it's time to talk about my favorite subject, which are treats or snacks, my favorite fall snacks. And I have really been into this Michelle, Michelle, I think I'm saying that right, it's French, at Austin um, cookie squares. And these cookies are so delicious, like I wish I never met these because they are adding weight to my body. They are a milk chocolate cookie with sea salt sprinkled on top and caramel in the middle heaven okay I have these cookies I try to limit myself to because they come in I'm just gonna open it because I'm probably gonna end up eating it so the section off into little eights and each day I try and say I can have two not every day goes according to plan some days I have more <laughs> so if you find those cookies in a store near you get them you won't be disappointed they're so good the chocolate is very rich and creamy it's not like that like artificial kind of chocolate taste it's very like a european chocolate and i love eating it with a cup of tea while i sit off and watch either the mayor which is one of my fall favorite shows it's a new comedy show that's out it's hilarious yvette nicole brown is in it uh, along with some other new folks it's amazing um, and then, of course, Dancing with the Stars is like classic. I am totally team Jordan Fisher and Lindsay. I love that that couple together. I am eating this cookie because I couldn't resist. Lastly, of course, I'm gonna share with you a mama favorite because I have a whole lot of stuff that my son is into, which means that I like. And um, the one thing that I want to share with you are these pop-up books. They're called Pop-Up Peekaboo, and it's a lot of different ones that you can get. My son loves like these books that have the pop-up pull-outs. This book is awesome. It has some really beautiful, vivid pictures, and like the pop-outs are like in 3D, and they're like, he loves it. Like every time I pull it out and read to him, he like laughs, and he just, he, he's so into this book. Now I try and actually read the story to him but he won't keep still long enough <laughs> and he's just interested in like pulling everything out but I am really like loving the quality of these books. Now I will say in terms of giving this book to a toddler, 
you can anticipate that they may rip the book. I'm going to show you, uh, the lighting is kind of getting messed up. The sun's coming out. But anyway, um, would that help? I don't know. Anyway, this is what he did to the dog book that we gave him. He essentially has ripped all of the dogs and their heads off of the book. So let me show you. Look, do you see this? This dog no longer has a head. <laughs> like all of the peekaboos have been ripped out. And I know for some people they're probably like, well that was a waste, why is this your favorite? Because it means that my son is enjoying it. Like he loves these books and even though the dog's heads are no longer attached, he still reaches for this book and wants to play with it and wants to play with the paper. So if he is happy, then I am happy. If he is busy, then I can get things done. And that's why these are my favorites. So I give him the dog one like every day or whenever he wants it so he can play with it because he's already ruined it. And then with this book, I think I'm a little bit more cautious and I actually sit with him and make sure that he doesn't rip it because eventually when he's older and he can actually read, I would like for him to um, enjoy the book again. So these are definitely a mama favorite. If you have older toddlers, they may appreciate it a little bit more than my, than you know a younger toddler, but um, even still, like a baby will enjoy like the flipping and the peekaboo and the pop-up of it all. Like they love that stuff. And it's like the books playing peekaboo with them, so my son will literally laugh every time he turns a flap. And that's kind of cool to watch. Anyway guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this fall lifestyle favorites of mine. If you did, like and subscribe for more videos. Of course, the next favorites I'll do is in winter, but I do other videos. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.